Hello, my name is Stephanie. I am an information technology student at the Florida State University. Today I'm going to be showing you how to reset your router back to factory defaults and then reconfigure the web configurations. This is my Linksys router. Don't base this video on the physicalities of this specific router simply because there's many different versions and many different models of Linksys routers out there that not all of them are going to look the same. But um, generally speaking, all the configurations and setup in factory defaults and whatnot are all going to be about the same. So here we have our power on light. That just indicates that it's receiving power and it currently is on. This flashing wireless looking esque light is demonstrating that we have wireless trying to broadcast, however it currently cannot due to the fact that I don't have internet going in right now. And to your left, we would normally have lights indicating that ethernet is plugged in, but again, I don't have that plugged in either. So let's go to the back here. And in on the back, you can see I have four ethernet ports. Generally, like I said, I would have some of those plugged in, but I do not just for the convenience of this video. And then to the left, we'll see our internet port. You wanna make sure you have that plugged in regardless to whether or not you're trying to stream wireless or hardwire internet, simply because if you don't, your internet will not work, meaning that there's no internet going into the router. To the right, you'll see a reset button, and then you will see power in. If you don't have the power in plugged in, simply your device is not getting power and it will not work. So for the reset, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to hold the reset button in with a pin for about 10 seconds. After about 10 seconds, you will see this light start to blink. It'll blink for about 30 seconds, and then this light will come back on. After that, that means your device has been successfully factory defaulted, and then you can go into the web configurations. However, if this does not work, what you can do is hold down that reset button for about 30 seconds, um, and it should work. You may have to do it for longer if you have an older device, but this one's a little bit newer, so I don't have to. But after that, you go ahead and go to the web configurations, which I will show you right now. Okay, the first thing we're going to want to do is check to see if we're connected. Since I'm on a laptop, I'm using wireless, so I won't automatically be connected. So let's go ahead and connect. And we're going to manually connect, so we're just going to connect without setting up. So it'll take a moment, and then we'll double check and make sure we are connected. All right, that looks good. I'm going to go ahead and open up an internet browser, and then I'm going to type in the router IP, which is 192.168.1.1. It's going to ask you for the username and password, which is both admin. The first really important thing you want to do is go ahead and change the default router password. This is the password that you just used to log into your router, which was admin for both the password and the username. You want to change this just so you can ensure that none of your neighbors per se can log into your router and, you know, tweak your settings or your router doesn't get hijacked. Okay, so we're going to go in administration. We're going to go ahead and change our password. Um, I just use whatever, you know, I can remember. Again, if you forget it, you can always use these same instructions again to reset your router. So once it saves, it's going to ask you to log in again, just because it logged you out because you did just change your password, so we'll go ahead and do that. Again, the username is still going to be admin. The next thing we're going to do is also a very crucial step in setting up your router. We're going to set up a wireless password. This ensures that if you live in a community that, for instance, a condo or apartment, where your neighbors are very close by, right above you, you know, adjacent to you, um, you can ensure that your neighbors aren't jumping onto your internet and either downloading illegal materials or just using your internet for free. Okay, now we're going to go to wireless security. Your wireless password must be at least eight characters long. I suggest alphanumeric characters, but just for the convenience of this video, I'm going to do one through eight. We'll go ahead and save these settings. It'll take a moment. And then you'll have to disconnect from the previous one that doesn't have a password and reconnect to the wireless that does have a password as the other one will not work anymore. So as you can see here, there are two and I'm connected to the one that does not have a password. So I'll go ahead and disconnect from this. And then I will go ahead and reconnect to the new Linksys, which it's trying to do now, but it won't be able to because I have a previously stored password in there, which I need to remove. So I'll go ahead and do that. And then I put my new password in. As I said, it was one through eight. And we'll save that. And then I'll double check to make sure I am connected. Looks good. 
From here, I'll go ahead and type 192.168.1 again just to refresh. The next thing we're going to do is optional. We're going to rename your SSID. This is what distinguishes your wireless from someone else's. So we're going to select Manual Wireless Configuration, and then we're going to change the name. Currently, it's Linksys. I'm going to change mine to Monster. Um, you can change it to whatever you like. It's totally up to you and completely customizable. So once we save these settings, I'm just going to go and double check to make sure that it did change. And we are going to have to reconnect, so let's go ahead and connect. It might take a moment, and then you will have to enter your security key again. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight for mine. And we are connected. It'll go ahead and go through the Windows process, but I'm just not going to do that right now. But that's pretty much it. That's how you set up your wireless network from factory defaults.